Hello, and welcome back to Near Replicant. We are in the forest of myth, and we already did our little death dream situation here. <clears throat> but he said that other villagers were in trouble, and I see they have side quest markers, things. So I'm going to see if I can help them, or what's going on here before we move on. This person must be dreaming too. Mm -hmm. It would appear that way, yes. Sure. I can't say I'm very excited to go back there. <clears throat> that dream world sort of creeps me out. Perhaps you should spend less time complaining and more time getting on with the mission. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, we're, we're right back into this. I, did, I honestly didn't think we were going to do this again, but... Okay. I thought I was just going to, like, skip to something. I breathe air scented with death and resist the urge to laugh, for I know it will sound like the words of a madman. How long have I been in this fresh hell? My box, my prison, is tucked beneath a stairway in a long unused catac in the long unused catacombs <clears throat> of some infinite castle. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. Outside, I hear the sound of a funeral dirge that plays without end. Light has no place here. The wind is a, is a forgotten friend. I pray for death to come, but he forsakes me. Time passes, and eternity slips by in a single tick of a clock. Someone knocks on my prison. Anyone there? I hear an unfamiliar voice. My savior. I claw at the door of my jail, embedding thick splinters under my ragged nails. I scream for help. I laugh. I sob. Surely this is the product of my addled mind. Surely it cannot be true. Help me, I cry. For the love of the gods. All the gods. Help me. Impossibly, I hear the sound of a lock being torn out and falling to the floor. As the door slowly opens, <clears throat> creaks open, I have just enough time to see a silver-haired boy in a floating book before the light pours inside. My eyes, accustomed to the blackness, explode with pain, and I am forced to turn away. Who are you? I asked, shaking my hands, covering my face. Uh, have you come here? <laughs> How have you come to this place? I am Grimlar Vice. This is near. Long have I been searching for you. We've been searching for you. Now come, stand. We shall awaken from this nightmare together. The one known as Nier extends his hand and pulls me from the cell. Though my eyes are slow to adjust to freedom, my ears are keen as ever, and they recognize the staccato sounds of heavy rain. I never thought I'd to, to hear that again, I whisper. <clears throat> Would that this were not such a terrible storm, said Grimar Vice. Look at your feet. I force my eyes open and see water pooling around my ankles and lapping at my shins. There's so much of it. Yes, and more comes each moment we delay. We do not make good our escape. We shall all drown in this castle. We know you are weak, but you are our only hope to survive this place. Time, that long forgotten friend, made itself known again. I nodded my head and swore to save my rescuers, no matter the cost. <clears throat> the castle catacombs are a maze twisting upon themselves like the endless entrails of a giant. I squint down in the dim corridors and proceed north. Oh, and proceed north. At the end of the corridor, I find a row of 20 gorgeous canopied beds resting atop a car carpet of velvet. All are covered in a thick layer of dust and cobwebs. Searching for the door next to the next room, I come upon a shapeless mass of gray matter. It has been shoved against the side of the wall, and despite my fever, I think I see the outlines of a door just beyond. When I reach out a finger and touch a piece of the mass, <clears throat> it turns to dust and drifts away on the wind. Realization slowly dawns, and I fall to my knees and weep. Corpses. I face a mountain of charred and cr crumbling corpses. I look from it to the beds and back again until the horror dawns full upon me. Someone has piled these bodies into a tower and set them ablaze. Whether they were alive or dead, I do not know. Insanity will not permit me to consider the proposition further. I make a sound, whether scream or laughter, I cannot be certain. 
Then my mind grants me merciful blackness, and I find myself opening the door and leaving the mo that most terrible of rooms. I squint down the dim corridors. <clears throat> well, salt is where we came from. Proceed east. And then proceed north. Okay, and then proceed... North again. At the end of the path, the water rises to my waist, exhausting me both physically and spiritually. I pray that this is the way out. Eventually, I can stand the sight of the water no longer, and so turn my eyes upward. My surprise when I see a series of paintings hanging on a, the faded plaster wall. Each depicts a person in the prime of life, clad in clothing of the highest quality. <clears throat> The styles, however, are strange to me, leading me to believe that these people had long, lived long and long ago. One subject wears an outfit that particularly catches my eye. It is constructed of a thin, breezy cloth and decorated with a motif of flowers and birds, while encircling the figure's waist is a leather belt of the most perfect construction. It is a stunning costume, even by modern standards. As I gaze at the portrait, I am struck by a desire to touch it with my own hands. Yet as I extend a single finger to the painting, I am gripped by a most unpleasant feeling. Staring closely at the image, I see it bend and warp into a shape of another finger. Something behind the picture is pointing at me. Is it another prisoner, a fellow inmate trapped for eternity in this place? I cannot let it pass, and so I seize the portrait with both hands and throw it into the water. The wall is hollow behind the painting, and inside I can just make out a body. Whether or not this is a prisoner, there would be no rescue. The poor soul is long dead. Scraps of clothing lie on the floor around the bones. Only a small amount of fabric has survived, but it's features, it features the same delicate designs that were depicted in the portrait. I have been admiring a row of corpses blocked from view by portraits of each victim in the, at their pinnacle. Enough. Shielding my eyes, I paddle forward through the water. Squint down and go south. Uh, <clears throat> we went north twice, so uh, let's try going west now. A row of heavy wooden casks lie on their west side in a dark chamber. Doubtless they are filled with wine. My thirst roars to life. I cannot remember the last time my parched throat had relief. I scramble to the first cask and pull frantically at the cork. The theft of a few cups means nothing, I tell myself. The cask will be ruined by the flood regardless. Finally, the cork surrenders to my attack and thick red liquid bursts forth from the hole. This is no wine, it is blood, still warm from the body, whether animal or something else I cannot say. The foul liquid soon mixes with the rising flood, creating a warmth that laps against my thighs. By all the gods, are the rest of these casts filled with blood as well? I lack the courage to confirm my suspicion. Disgust quickly f becomes fear as I turn to flee, but my weakened legs betray me, sending me toppling over into the red ocean below. The smell of death is everywhere. It threatens to consume me. I must escape this hell. Crawling on all fours like an animal, holding back screams lest any foulness enter my mouth, I lurch forward through the red waters and out of the room to freedom. And go back east. And I guess we're gonna go east again. <clears throat> Find myself in the great hall with only the sound of rain for comfort. The waterlogged red carpet squishes beneath my feet as I approach the center of the room. Once there, I behold a beautiful dining hall table upon which rest china and silver of the finest construction, as well as the remains of a fantastic feast. As my eyes continue to adjust, I see many chairs surrounding the table, each holding a dinner guest. Noticing movement, I approach the chair at the table's head, but as the truth of the matter dawns on me, I recoil in horror. The ho host of the feast is a corpse, as are all the invited guests. An army of foul, wriggling insects have made their way their homes and the remains. And this is the movement I saw. This once splendid feast was now nothing more than a requiem for the damned. I take a moment to steady my shaking hands, then slowly back away from the table. Desperate to lose sight of the abomination before me, my gaze lands on the chairs upon which the dead were seated. 
This is a mistake, for the chairs prove to be even more terrible than the feast itself. Each one is covered in a layer of spikes that run from the seat, back up the back, and down the arms. This explains the color of the carpet beneath my feet. I can only pray that the unfortunate diners were dead when the meal began. For if not, it is a simple task to envision the agonized screams that must have sprung forth from their mouths. My mind grasps frantically at the possibility that these souls have committed some terrible crime for which this is pu was punishment. Though in truth, I suspect they had committed no crime at all. There would be no tomorrow for these unfortunate souls. This was their last supper. <clears throat> okay, well I had a... From here, I should go north, because west is where I came from, yeah. <clears throat> the water has risen to my chin, and now laps greedily at my mouth and nose. You dumb best, shouts near. He surely desires to say more, but the rest of his insult is cut short by the rising water. Near wouldn't say that. Grimoire Vice, wet and tattered, floats on the water's surface. It is already too late for him. This wasn't... This wasn't how it was supposed to end. That fail. I got a game over. I didn't think you could get a game over in, in these... We died in the death dream. Oh! I mean, there's no way you would have known. Really? Okay, so... I know where to avoid. I kind of have it mapped in my head where where to go, this so I'm gonna redo it that way. and get back to at least somewhere new. Okay, so we're back to uh, went north, east, north, and now we're at this spot where I went north for that one with the paintings. West was somewhere else. Uh, south just takes me back. I have to go east right now. Yeah, and this is the one with the Fantastic Feast. So we're back here. And North killed me. So I think I'm supposed to go back. What was North? You dumb bat. Oh! Oh! Did I just take too long? Interesting. This is, uh... I mean, I have it mapped in my head, but... At the same time, I'm like, did I cover everything? Let's try again. Okay, okay, I figured it out. I, uh, I went backwards and I took too long, which caused the water, because because the whole room was filling. So I feel like you're actually kind of on a timer here. So all I did was go northeast, northeast, north. So far, I, I wrote it down to just double check, and it worked this time. So. Against all hope, we make it to the front door. Break it down, someone cries. And so I give myself to the effort. In tandem with Nier and Grimoire Vice, I slam my body against the thick, sturdy door. On the third try, it gives way, and we find ourselves sprawled on the ground outside the castle. The storm is in retreat. The clouds above are still dark and foreboding. But to the west, I can see a thin shimmer of sunlight trying to break through. How can I thank you, I cry, as tears of... Tears join the rain on my cheeks. I would surely have died in there. Looking down, I sh suddenly notice that my dress is in tatters, and sheepishly try to cover my exposed skin. Your dress? asks Vice. Then are you a woman, madam? I am. I pro pro proffer? Proffer the two a smile. I suppose that comes as something of as a surprise, seeing as how I exist only in the form of words. I can see the that the one known as Nier is disappointed that the torn dress will give no further description, but he hides it well. With a nod and a shrug, the three of us set forth to our awakening. But behind us, an awakening of another kind is taking place. Black smoke fills the abandoned castle, providing the countless damned souls inside with their final shroud. After a moment, the castle's windows shatter with a mighty roar, a freeze a fresh breeze blows through the hallways and corridors, clearing the smoke away for good. As we watch in awe, uncountable black shadows fill and slowly flicker to life, crossing to and fro in front of the broken windows. The castle's dead have awakened to their new life as shades. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. You have anything to say about that? Uh. Hopefully there will be no labyrinth next time. I hear that. 
Thank you so much for saving me. I mm -hmm. never want to have a dream like that again. Yeah, that was a bad dream. Uh, I'm glad you're better. <sighs> and that, that took quite a bit of time, but that was actually really interesting. <laughs> I, I enjoyed that. And we're gonna have to do yours. Hopefully, like that one had riddles. This one had a labyrinth. Maybe he'll have something different too. But and I don't another know. Another victim. This work certainly is trying. Mm -hmm. It's weird that we were kind of on a timer there, because the fact I, I tested it just to double check and going north and then going south again, it, it literally like you you rush back into the water and you drown. So you have to not back pedal. It, Really, I think. I figured a book like you would be into all this word stuff, Vice. Even I have my exceptions. Now let's be off. Mm. A colony of massive sculptures was visible in the distance, their tall forms scraping against the sky. Vice and Nier had never seen such a sight, and their eyes widened as they tried to take it in. Those buildings must be huge if we can see them from this far away. What do you think, Vice? As Vice considered his answer, the sun beat down on them with a renewed ferocity. They are some manner of mirage, he said. Under this heat, a mirage or two would hardly be an unexpected sight. Nier nodded and wiped the sweat off his brow, leaving a trail of sand in its place. He thought he'd never be been so thirsty. The ancient road on which they walked was black and cracked with age. Here and there, thin wisps of grass, uh, grass pushed up through the rocky surface, as if defying those who had laid this material down over their home. The heat reflecting from the road made Nier lightheaded. His feet hurting, he crouched down to rest. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Is someone playing a joke on us or what? The complaining had already begun. Vice tried not to let his eyes roll too much. A joke, he said. No joke, this road leads to the city of art. Perhaps the path itself is simply some manner of grand artistic work. You don't sound very sure of yourself there. Perhaps not, but thinking of it in this way might make it easier for you to bear. Nier glanced at Vice's grinning, grinning face, shook his head, and resumed walking. As time passed, Nier's feet grew more painful and his throat drier than he thought possible. He tried not to look further than the next step ahead, because the bright sunlight made him hesitant to trust his own senses. We are definitely getting closer, said Vice, in an effort to cheer his companion. Yes, this much is certain. Encouraged, Nier lifted his gaze. Suddenly, he stopped walking, choosing instead to stand in the middle of the road with his mouth and eyes wide open, and his finger pointing in the distance. Water, he cried. It's water. Water? Asked Vice. Preposterous. I don't see any water. Over there, just ahead of us. Look, the sun is reflecting off it. Without waiting for a response, Nier sprang to life and bounded toward the site. What in that? There was no water. There was nothing but sand in every direction. Nier closed his eyes and sighed as Vice floated up behind him and chuckled softly. I believe this is known as a mirage, he said. Many a desert traveler have spoken of such things. I guess you couldn't be affected by it. Even in a dream, maybe? Nier shook his head, bewildered. Suddenly, he pointed out off in the distance, his eyes wide once more. Wait, there it is. I just missed it. Look, it's right there. Nier sprinted off again, leaving Vice with no choice but to follow. After a few minutes of running, Nier came to a halt. I could have sworn it was right here. Confused, he put his hands on his eye, up to his eyes and rubbed them vigorously. As soon as he stopped, he noticed a blue, shimmering pool of clear water just to, over the next rise. With a shout, he bounded off in search of it. The chase continued for nearly an hour, until an exasperated vice uh, finally floated up to Nier and struck him in the face with his cover. Enough, you blabbering idiot. Stop this at once. There is no water here. Nier's face clouded. There isn't? There is not, and perhaps next time you will listen to me when I tell you as such, as much. Vice paused for a moment, then continued to speaking in a slightly kinder tone. However, I suppose this mad chase was not altogether wasted. Seems we have arrived at the City of Art. Nier looked up, stretched out before him, was a row of impossibly tall sculptures. Their journey was at an end. 
They're huge, cried Nier, completely forgetting that the heat of and pain of the past few hours. I've never seen anything so big. Each sculpture was formed from roughly the same shape, a tall rectangle that stretched up towards the sky. But that is where the similarities ended. Most were covered in panes of glass that reflected lights in a thousand directions, while others seemed to be nothing but frames of steel. Some had tall spires on their tops, while others possessed triangular caps. What kind of city is this? said Nier. Where are the people? Where are the houses? Perhaps the land is intended exclusively for artistic use. The debate continued as they made their way through the city. Miracles of artistry were everywhere. Great iron crates with wheels sat silently on steel rails. Beautifully carved works with lights of red, amber, and green dangled on uh, over every street. As they moved away from the massive sculptures, they found a great array of smaller ones. Some were covered in glass and brick or brick, but many were composed of materials they had never before encountered. The sheer variety of colors and styles were staggering. Unable to find a theme or purpose to the abstract works around them, Nier and Vice eventually fell silent. On the outskirts of the city, they discovered three sculptures in the shape of humans. Nier uttered a sigh of relief as he approached them. Finally, I was getting tired of modern art. The three statues were indistinguishable, except for the words chiseled into their right arms. One read Alpha, one read Beta, and the final one read Gamma. As Nier moved to touch the nearest statue, a bird flew from the top of one of the sculptures, alighting the statue's shoulder, emitting a brief, beautiful song that took the form of words. Only one form is real. The others are false. The real form will always speak the truth. The false ones will only speak lies. With that, the bird departed. As if on cue, the statue, three statues shuddered to life, acquiring color and form as they began to breathe. Hey, look at that, said Nier. They're alive. The triplets bowed low before Nier. Please, said Alpha. You have to get me out of this nightmare. I'm real. Stop lying, said Beta. He turned to Nier and threw his hands in the air. Alpha's a fake, you know. I'm the real one. What a load of crap, said Gamma. Beta is a fake. Everyone knows I'm the only, only real one around here. I mean... Okay. Alpha's a fake, says Beta. They all says... Wait, wait, wait. They all say I am the real one. And Beta says Alpha's a fake. And Gamma says Beta's a fake. Okay. I, I'm just going to continue. Their respective pleas given. The three statues refer, return to their frozen state once again. Envelop the city. When you consider all of these statements, only one of them could be the real thing, said Vice. Nier furrowed his eyebrows and considered his answer. Only one is real. The others are false. The real form will always speak the truth. The false ones will only speak lies. Okay. So Alpha only had one statement. I am real. Beta had I am real and Alpha's fake. Gamma had I am real and Beta's fake. Let me think on this for a second. Okay, so, logically, I don't know how I, how to actually put this one, but if Gamma is if Gamma is a liar, if you assume that Gamma is a liar, then they're saying, I'm the real one, which means they're not. And they're also saying, Beta is fake. Meaning you would assume Beta would be the real one. But... That means that Beta is also saying, that means Beta is telling the truth, saying he's real and Alpha's a fake. That makes sense. But if you assume Gamma's telling the truth, then... If you assume Gamma's telling the truth, then he's saying Beta's a fake, which means Beta's also saying Alpha's a fake. So that means Gamma, or Beta is lying about Alpha being fake, which means Alpha would have to be real, so it can't be Gamma. This, this is kind of a weird thing. 
And if Alpha is real, the other two are wrong. Uh, which doesn't work, because if Alpha's real, Gamma would be saying Beta's a fake. And that, and if he, if Gamma only lies, that means Beta would have to be real. Because they're saying Beta is a fake. So, you know, it has to be Beta. I get it, but I, I don't know how to express it very well. <laughs> the real one is Beta. Though Nier's voice betrayed a no notable lack of confidence, he was relieved to see Vice nodding at him. Nier, we, we got this. If Alpha were telling the truth, began Vice, in a dry tone of, of a lecturer, Beta and Gamma would be fakes. But in that case, Gamma's claim that Beta is a fake would be true, even though Gamma is a liar. Therefore, that theory crumbles. Exactly. Now let us presume that Gamma spoke the truth. That makes Alpha and Beta liars. In this situation, however, Beta is calling Alpha a liar, which would leave us with two statues telling the truth. Finally, let us assume that Beta is telling the truth. If so, Alpha and Gamma's lies would make sense. Therefore, Beta is real. It's the only one that made sense. As Vice finished his explanation, Alpha and Gamma crumbled soundlessly to dust, while Beta sprang to life once more. <sighs> I'm glad I got that. It only took me like... I, I had to sit here for two minutes, but... I, just, I was really thinking hard. <laughs> it wasn't even that hard, but still. You have to break things down pretty pretty in-depth, I guess, sometimes. Congratulations, villager, said Vice in a cheerful tone. Voice, the time to awaken has arrived. Thank you for saving me, cried the villager. He dropped to his knees and bowed his head as low as it could go before an uncomfortable near pulled him to his feet. Why did you have a dream like this, asked Vice. Have you been to this city before? The villagers slowly walked around at the bizarre objects and sculptures that dotted the landscape then shook his head. I... I don't think so. I mean, it's impossible, right? There's no way I could have ever been to a place like this, but at the same time, I feel like I've seen it before. Deja vu, muttered Nier, just like the mayor. A vague sense of unease that struck Nier during the mayor's dream spread once more through his mind. I just realized. This game's called Nier Replicant. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna keep it to myself, but I have some thoughts. That was rough. That was that was fun. I like that I one. Positive, I have seen that place before. Mm. Okay, that's enough. Don't need you getting all weird on me too. Okay, there. Now all the villagers can wake up, right? Yes. Yeah. If the mayor's assumption was correct, I think I have had enough wordplay to last a lifetime. Thank you very much. It was it was still You're telling fun. Me. Anyway, let's go see the mayor. Okay. I thought I was a goner there. Thanks for the help. What a strange dream. It almost felt familiar somehow. Yeah. I, I get it. Uh, I feel like we're going to get some... It's kind, it, it's kind of foreshadowing some things, I feel. It's not... It's just... A sense. Not... Not, not very direct, but... I don't know. From what we've so seen in the beginning... We'll see. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Here, I have something for you. I'm gonna guess a weapon. One-handed sword, Faith. Wow, this looks valuable. I can really have it? Of course. It's apparently a weapon of some renown, but we have little use for it. Sure. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you again for everything. You got it. I simply cannot bear another of these infernal conversations. Let us save it for another time. Okay. Talk? Don't talk? Wait, wait, what? I'm sorry, Vice, but... Oh, no. Ah, hello again. You know, I've been trying to figure out a way to thank you for saving me, and I think I've got it. We're going to put a statue of you. Put up a statue. It will be ten feet high and made of pure gold. Oh, and I don't... I know you don't own a horse, but I think we'll put you on one anyway. Horses just make people look more heroic, you know? How's that? You don't want a statue? Oh, I thought you'd really enjoy it. Regardless, thanks to your tireless efforts, our village is at peace once more. And at peace. Ha! <laughs> That's a little agricultural joke right there. Anyway, I've been thinking about other things besides bad jokes stat and statues. I've also decided that we need to start holding the village festival again. 
We used to have it every year, but the last mayor thought it was old-fashioned or something and he killed it. Since I'm the mayor, I can start it up again. That's not abusing my power or anything, is it? What's that? You want to hear about the festival? Well, the official name is the Feast of the Three Days. We call it that because everyone sits around a huge table and eats for three days straight, no sleeping allowed. It sounds great, but you would be screwed after day one. Not even at, at the end of day one. Oh, and we hold it on the foggiest day of the year, so it's hard to tell while you're, what you're eating. Some of the dishes are delicious, but some are really rare and, well, there's some weird stuff in them. Let's leave it at that. Anyway, you'd be pretty surprised what you can eat when you haven't slept for a couple days. I'll make sure that a room is prepared for you so you can be the guest of honor. What? You can't come. You have to wash your hair. Oh, alright. I guess that's understandable. What with the adventuring and all. Truthfully, I think this town needs more group bonding activities like that. I think it'll help us get to know each other and also promote unity in times of crisis and so forth. Vice coughs loudly. How much longer w must we bear the, the unsufferable flapping of this fool's gums? He whispered to Nier. Ah, let him talk. He just woke up. He probably has a lot he wants to say. Vice sighed. This must be what Popola meant by bright and talkative. Well, that was interesting. I mean, that, that was an interesting way to do it for him just going on and on. Oh, uh, no. Just in case I screwed this up. Gotta save on a new slot. <sighs> I mean, we... That, surprisingly, that, that still feels like 30 minutes well spent. I don't care if everyone skipped it or stopped watching. I enjoyed myself there. I enjoyed that part. I don't know why. So how was Couldn't the tell village? You. Oh, it was truly magnificent. There are no words. <laughs> really. Huh. Neat. Let's get back to Popola. Mm. She'll probably want to know what's going on in there. Sure. I had some side quest stuff I wanted to do, but I think I'll, I'll, I'll go to Popola and see where we're going. I'm pretty much just going to Baron Temple for that floor right. Although, I have a feeling we're going to get more side quests in a minute. We're 45% done with them. That's a lot of side quests. Uh, excuse me? I thought he was going to run into the wall. 45% though, that's... It's not bad. I know this is only like playthrough A or however it's going to... A reference. Uh, I want to double. Yeah, nope. Straight to Popola. Suppose I didn't need to. Near came back. He came back to home to see me. Yay! <laughs> okay. I have no idea where we're going from here. Something about the haunted mansion since it's the only spot we haven't gone to. The death dream certainly is a strange illness. Mm. Yeah, it was something all right. Nope. Even I, with my natural love for words, have no desire to visit that place ever again. You guys did well. You've been making a lot of long trips lately. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. I can't just sit around all day while Yona's sick, after all. If you say so. So, anything I can do for you? Well, I suppose there is one thing I could use a hand with. Have you heard about our plans to repair the canal? The work probably won't happen for a while, but once it's done, we can use the canal for trade and travel and all kinds of useful things. The canal, huh? Unfortunately, however, we're a bit behind schedule at the moment. If you're willing to help out, I'd really appreciate it. No problem. What do you need? Huh. Great. So, the man I originally asked to help on this project hasn't shown up for work in a few days. I'm starting to get a little worried. So, maybe you can head over to Seafront and check up on him? I'll mark the location of his house on your map. He always carries a red bag over his shoulder, so he should be easy enough to find. Got sure. Uh, the person it? I asked to help with the canal... Okay, yeah, same, same stuff. Okay, so... Just heading to the seafront then. I I do want to go to Baron Temple first though. Get that out of the way. Actually, I should probably check Devil up for more quests, because you know 
The more I get out of the way now, the more focus we can be after. Fascinating. If we had a ferry, we could put these days of endlessly running about behind us. <sighs> Don't you just float everywhere anyway? Do you think I am borne aloft by the winds, lad? It takes stamina to maintain this height. Oh, really? You could at least try to hide the earth. Oh, utter dismay. I hope that was the last line. Apparently I can water these again. I'm gonna check Devil after. But a canal? Does that mean we can fast travel between those boats that have been around everywhere? It is. It guaranteed. Oh god, that would be great. See those boats over there. That is totally gonna... Well, I don't even know if you can get to those boats. But it seems like you'll be able to fast travel. Yeah. That, that, that rogue keeps going. I don't see any uh, devil luck quests right here, but... I want to double check this. Now you can't get there. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. I can't be sure. It'd be pretty sweet, though. Feels like it's going to be fast travel. That's all I know. Okay, I think we're going to wait on uh, Baron Temple. Until we're headed somewhere in the direction of facade, because, you know, I don't, I don't want to overdo it. Gotta stick to some story. Hey. Um, hey, uh, are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Popola sent me to... Oh, God, it's over. My life is over. <sighs> Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular endeavor. Easy, Vice. <laughs> Hey, so, are you alright? It's my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come back. I'm okay. so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling, where are you? <laughs> God. Wow, that's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for her? Really? You'd do that for me? Sure. Er, but do you have any idea where we should start? Hmm. Well, she always used to enjoy drinking at the tavern with her friends. All right, then I guess we'll start with them. Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way, my wife always carries a red bag, just like mine. If you mention that, it might ring some bells. You're right next to the tavern and you haven't tried this? I've met some odd couples in my day, but none who felt the need to wander about flaunting matching luggage. <laughs> you need to get with the times. Coordinated outfits are all the rage. Are they? Uh. Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. But now my sweet dumpling is gone. <laughs> and it's all my fault. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Just stay calm. We'll go look for her, alright? You sit tight. I have no words until uh, I'm willing to bet that man knows more about his wife absconding than he's letting on. Yeah. Until I know what's going on. But yeah, I've I have some thoughts. Hey, you weren't here before. Hey there. I'm a uh, looking for a woman carrying a red bag. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? She hasn't been home and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She hasn't been around here either. Though, come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe you should try her? I'll do that. Thanks. Hey, what? what's the rush? You've got a cute face. Why not sit here and join me for a round? Or three? Why are all the adults hitting on a boy? A little boy? Uh Sorry, ma'am, but I'm not old enough to drink. Seriously. You're like the third person who's... hit on him. Hey there. Do you know a woman with a red bag by any chance? A red bag? Oh, sure. Although now that I think about it, I haven't seen her in a while. But where is she? Last time she came around... She mentioned something about leaving town, but I figured it was just idle talk. Leaving town, huh? All right, thanks for your time. Okay, she so we'll talk to... left this charming hamlet. Finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything. 
Oh, we're actually leaving town. I see. Okay. She's probably right up. Somewhere along the road. You know where she probably went? Haunted mansion. That, that seems pretty likely. Just... It's nearby. It's the only place on the map we haven't went. I wonder. Well, what is my... Search for the wife of the red bag man in the southern plains. It's haunted mansion. 100%. I'm just going to start heading there. Maybe. Actually, I don't know for sure. I mean, it's not on the map, but... Oh, look at that poison spread out. It keeps going. Stupid spider. Okay, so... I don't know if she would have made it past these spiders. Do I... Do I... Ch I'm gonna check here and then I'm gonna go run outside. Oh god, I was stuck in animation that whole time. I can't... I can't go in. Can't go in! Okay. We'll check after. Because clearly, she's not here. Or she is, but the game isn't registering that. I'm just, I'm getting ahead of myself because there's there's clearly an entrance thing on the minimap to go in there, so. We'll see. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Hmm. Something about that shade seems rather odd. What's odd about it? I mean it Red bag. Okay, with the pressed freesia or freesia from that other one and this red bag, I'm pretty sure people turn into shades. Hey, look at this. We're killing people, aren't we? It is identical to the red satchel carried by the man who sent us on this mad quest. Perhaps it belongs to his spouse. Oh no. Do you think the Shades got her? I fear it likely, lad. I sense no other activity in the immediate vicinity. We were too late. Well, this is terrible. What are we supposed to say? However difficult it may be, we've no choice but to tell the man the truth. Hmm. Okay. Coupling that with the, uh... Villager that we helped with the, you know, text-based directional stuff. At the end when they look back at the mansion and the corpses became shades. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So we're actually... Well, we're killing people who are already killed, right? I mean, they don't just become shades. Sounds like the corpses become shades. Or something. I mean, I doubt that shade killed her and then took the red bag. It's a possibility. I can't discount it, but still. He's not gonna be very happy. Hey! Did you find my sweet dumpling? They're dead. We didn't, but... We got this off a of shade. I, I mean, we didn't. Here's your oh, red bag. No. This this is hers. So mm. our fears were correct. Oh god. How could this happen to her? <laughs> this is all my fault. Mm. Yeah, I I need to know. Why is this your fault? If I may, my good man, why did your wife leave home in the first place? <laughs> it's because because I... I think we should give him some time to himself, Vice. Duh. Honey, I'm home! Good heavens, you're a wreck! What's wrong? Dumpling! You're not dead! I'm trying to keep my what camera out there. What in the world <laughs> are you talking about? This is the second time I've been like, what the hell's going on? Oh, oh, you found my bag. 
Thank you so much. I can't believe I went and dropped it like that. Oh, this is such a relief. Okay, seriously. What's going on? Good question. Five minutes later. I see. So, you found a shade with my bag and assumed I'd been attacked and killed? I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling. But I'm also so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot! Sir! That's what was wrong? Listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of yours again. You just promise never to run away from home again, okay? Okay, you guys are interesting. Run away? <laughs> Have you lost your mind? I just went to visit my parents. Mm -hmm. I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week, <laughs> remember? Ugh, are you serious right now? <laughs> Why don't you ever listen to me? Um... Lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty retreat from these two with all speed. Yep. Oh man, should we get out of here? Oh. Suddenly remember the that other important errand, but we need we need him to fix the canal. I want to hear more of this. I can't believe you didn't listen. I'm sorry, to Vice. Me, and you ate my apple. Ugh, you are the absolute worst. What? Oh, like you're some perfect angel. You didn't even care enough about our anniversary to hang on to your bag. You, kid, I'm right about this, yeah? If anyone's wrong here, it's my <laughs> wife, right? Oh, okay. I should have left. You're asking me? Who's in the wrong here? Is there a third option where you're both just... Uh, interesting. I don't know who's in the wrong here. I mean, it's one thing to lose a bag. It that 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 happens all the time. Sometimes you drop stuff. But to eat an apple that was specifically saved, you're a monster. Well, you shouldn't have eaten your wife's apple. That's not very nice. But I was hungry and it was just sitting there. Yeah, that's a good excuse. Look, I'm glad you went looking for my wife and all, but that was low, friend. <laughs> low. Uh-oh. Did I cross a line there? Yeah, we we should have we should have left. Vice, you were right. Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire stamp collection. Ha! You're damn right I did. And I'd do it again. You are nothing but a hoarding slob. You there! My husband's in the wrong here, isn't he? Uh, pardon, but <laughs> madam, I No oh, god. The hoarding slob of a husband, the collection tossing wife. Honestly, both of them. Oh, enough. The both of you are at fault. Now apologize to one another and end this ridiculous display. That's right. You talk for a floating magazine. I see you finally agree on something. <laughs> magazine? Oh boy. That was awkward. One hour later, I should have left. Even understand how frustrating this is, you colossal oaf. This is exactly what I hate about you. You married him. Fine, hate me. I'll still sleep like a baby knowing I'm not an unreasonable hag like you. Oh, oh boy. Nice. What do I do? You turn Run. on your heel and walk away as fast as your legs can carry you, my. That's it. My good I've had enough. Instead of belittling me, why don't you get a proper job? Everyone in the neighborhood treats me like dirt, and it's all because of my unemployed slob of a husband. Uh, actually, I have a job now. Yeah, you're not doing it. Wait, you what? You're kidding. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> That's great! Well, I sort of wanted it to be <laughs> a surprise. Oh, you big silly Billy. Well, this calls for a celebration. Come on, I'm going to bake you a nice apple pie. This is too real. Too real. <laughs> I 
have no idea what just transpired, but it has utterly exhausted me. Well, yeah. looks like they made up, so all's well that ends well? Yeah. In the course of all that madness, I have forgotten why we even came here in the first place. Oh, heck, the canal! We need to ask him about the canal! Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was like watching my friends talk to their girlfriends. Too real. I can't thank you enough for all your help. Uh, sure, but listen, we need to talk to you about the canal. Oh, mm. right! That's why you came here in the first place, huh? Well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be more than happy to get going on the canal work. Sure. Priorities. Uh. Heavens, that was exhausting. Tell me about it. Anyway, let's go give Popola an update. Yeah, it'll be done in like five weeks. Uh, unless they get into another argument. Okay, so. That was that. I always come over here to double check. There's no side quest because this is the most out of the way place that I don't see. Uh. That was interesting. <laughs> it was. Not your average conversation you'd hear in, in, in a video game. Uh, I... Okay, I think we've searched everywhere. I still feel like we should have been going to this haunted mansion. It's just... It's gonna happen. It's, it's gotta happen at some point. Alright, so I'm gonna finish looking around town. And then we're going to head back and talk to Popola. I need to go to Facade after that, though. I wa I, or Baron Temple, because I want to get that done. Yeah, the, this this dude up there, he really needs to impress this lady. These were a strange pair indeed. It boggles the mind to think their relationship can persist despite such intense squabbling. Well, they looked pretty happy in the end, at least. Maybe the secret to living a happy life is sharing your feelings, even when they're sort of mean and weird. If you adopt such a strategy, I may leave for groceries one day and never return. Oof. How are you gonna carry those groceries, Vice? Huh? <sighs> Popola. You hired the wrong man. Goodness. It sounds like the canal repairman had quite the problem on his hands. I'm glad everything turned out all right. Or no. A problem. Uh, they're they're just a mess. Thank you so much for your help. Don't mention it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the canal turns out. If you need anything else from us, just say the word. Thanks, guys. Hey, okay. Wait. Oh. Huh? I almost forgot. Yona is looking for you. Huh? She said she needed something from you. Time to go play Big Brother for a bit, huh? I guess so. Thanks, Popola. Okay. Sure. It has been a while since we've, uh, been back to talk to Yona. Although, it really hasn't. I've just done so many side quests that it feels like it has. Uh, I guess we'll do that before we go to Baron Temple, because it's right here. <laughs> it's all about efficiency. And then un unavoidable quests. Uncompletable. I just don't want to run into those. I want to do everything. Yay, you're back. Hopala said you needed something? Yeah, a favor, actually. What is it? Um... I can't help if you don't tell me, sis. Okay, I'm gonna say it. Ready? I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. Your friend? Yep. I have a friend, and we've been writing each other letters. Seriously? A pen pal? How delightful. Lives in that mansion. So who is this friend? Um, well, he's kind of... He? It's a guy? Okay, don't be overbearing, brother. Yes, and he's sick and in a whole lot of trouble. And I know that you and Vicey are the only ones who can help him. Vicey? Tell me about this guy. He lives in this really big house down south, and he's super nice, and he's my friend. So you have to help him. Please? Yona, listen. Please? 
Great. Now what do I do? I think they forgot to raise her vocal lines. Like, they sound fine. They're just really quiet. It's, it's not me. I, I, I voice is maxed. I, I can't say no to her. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Yay. Thank you. Please help him. Okay? Is it going to be a meal? <laughs> I know he's in the game. I think. Great. Yona's got a boyfriend. Is something amiss, lad? Your voice is trembling. No, it isn't. Shut up. Okay. You you could basically say the same thing with the father position on uh, just just alt. Like you can you can hear the the big brother acting like a father almost <laughs> in all these points. I can picture it. I I, I want to watch a just alt playthrough at some point. Going to Baron Temple quick. You know I haven't I haven't seen half half the items I wrote down for like upgrading my weapons. I haven't even seen yet. I've been looking around for him, and it's just like, am I really not that far into the game? <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like I'm not, but at the same time, and I, I've been playing for 20 hours. I feel like I feel like I should be a little farther, shouldn't I? Am I going too slow? Hmm. It's okay though. Once I finish all the side quests, every episode will just be story, right? So. I know I'm, I'm running on the outskirts here. I'm I'm double checking things. You never know. There could be something cool. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's something. Is it a cave? Literally nothing. I guess you can fish in the sandstorm. Okay. Kind of like a copy paste of the left side of the map. I'm uh, looking at it. Get out of here. Stupid wolves. Gold ore, okay. Well, I don't need gold ore for anything yet. Someday, someday. Uh, since we haven't like really taken a look around the sandstorm, I figured I'd just show it because, you know, you never know if something crazy will happen out here. A giant sandworm boss? Where's that? Oh, <laughs> you can fast travel here. Hmm. Now this is the one I was I was hoping for. This this definitely helps get around. Right, you just stay down there. You don't know how to jump. Baron Temple Sands bad. All right, yeah, that that it definitely increases what I can do. I thought about hey, what's going on over here. There's just a ton of wolves. Is the super shade wolf around here? Copper R? No? Uh, excuse me. My health is actually... Is it getting longer? I feel like the bar is getting... Going across the screen more, but... I, I can't quite tell. I, I'm trying to get to Baron Temple, guys. I don't know where in the temple it's gonna be, either. They just said fluorite somewhere. There was one door in here. One door that I don't think I went in. It's probably that door. I don't even remember how to get there. Am I gonna have to do the trials? <laughs> okay, so I came out there. There was that long path to the right. I never went there. I'm gonna head that way. I completely forgot we got another sword. Faith. Very light, and it looks pretty interesting. 20% magic power and massive damage. It's 147 attack power. Uh, it's probably easier to show it after a switch because, you know, I'm blocking half of it. This isn't bad. Like, Beast Bane is 172. So, like, for a very light weapon, that's that's pretty good. I don't have any word edits on it yet, but uh, I think we got a good weapon. Uh, too bad B Bessie's going to be useless until I, you know, figure that out. I don't know how to 
I think we just put paw on for now. And... I don't know. Item drop rate 4%? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's uh, spiders all over here. How dare that be a thing. They're even out here? That's a bat. That is a bat. I don't want to mess with them. Just don't, don't, don't do it yet. Okay, now you can hit me. I have to go through two of these, really? I don't know, just one. I think we're good, actually. As soon as I can move again. Yeah, he... Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. I just needed one of those, right? I think we're good. I do want to double check this, though, because we never went this way. Oh, it's still sealed. Are you telling me we're coming back here? Ah, oh, shit. Let us dispatch them without complaint. Holy and what would shit. make them appear in this area in the first place? It is hardly what one would call especially fertile ground. What the? Hold on, why, why are there so many shades all of a sudden? There's a, there's a lot of shades around. If they really are dead people, are a lot of people dying out here now? Hmm. Something's going on. If only I saw, like, the citizens around town disappearing. That would be... That would be something. If it just slowly became more empty each town. Okay, sir. I have your fluorite. Here's that ore you wanted. Oh, thank you! Now maybe my girl will let me hold her hand. Wouldn't that be great? Here's the money for the material and a little extra for your time. Huh? Oh, hold on, this is way too much. Well, even I agree. Are you kidding? That's what fluorite costs you on the open market. I only threw in a few coins for your trouble. What? It's really that expensive? Hey, I learned my lesson last time. From now on, it's nothing but the best for my girl. The human soul is an unfathomable thing indeed. You got that right. Shit. Trigger finger. Do you think it's possible the that this man is being deceived by his lover? Yeah, I do. Then we shall inform him at once. Yeah, probably better if we don't. What's this? Have you finally found someone you are unwilling to aid? Look, relationships are messy, and sometimes you can't always understand what's going on between a couple. There is nothing in this world that Grimoire Vice cannot understand. Yeah, yeah. Nothing in this world, huh? Okay. I'm sure we'll have another quest from him uh, at some point. But until then, story, finally. It's significantly more bright out here all of a sudden. Are all the shades gone too? There were just so many shades a minute ago. The tree always been there. Interesting. Feels good to be caught up on stuff. Well, not fishing. Oh, there's someone out there. I do want to double check because it bugs me. Yeah, we're just missing fishing for sharks and fishing for bream. And I've triple checked every village, so there's no spiders out here. Where are you? We have been waiting for you, sirs. What do you mean you've been waiting for me? Please, right this way. Oh boy. We never told anyone we were coming. Kane's even here with us. Oh, this is a dungeon. That butler? We're gonna kill him. Maybe. Everything's super black and white. It's weird. 
Sir. Time is of the essence. I guess not. Is it this door? You're gonna make me walk down? I bet. I bet it's not this door. Oh, it is this door. Not gonna talk? Please wait here. Okay. Waiting's a bitch. Just let me know if any shades show up, okay? Okay. Did I call you Kane earlier? I think I did. I might mix that up a few times. Can I actually walk around? Oh. Do I have to hide from the butler? Oh, it's just showing Kaine on my map. Never mind. Where do you go? Kitchen? It's a big house. Mansion. Let me check I down do here. Like this one bit. What's the matter, Vice? Scared? Okay. Let's check this. Hey, I'm trying to get to this door, camera. Let's check this door first. It's a keyhole marked darkness here. Interesting. Another door. Uh, perhaps we should head back, yes? <laughs> You're scared. I think we should keep going. Keyhole marked moon here. Feels like Resident Evil. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna go we're gonna go back. Don't want Vicey to get scared now. Music's really uh, unsettling in a way. It's good, good and unsettling. Hey, where'd Kaine go? I knew this was a terrible idea. Haunted manners and the like. Oh, why does no one ever listen to me? I know, I know. Um. She'll be fine. Probably. Uh, let's... We never kept go Oh, this is just the other side of that. Okay. Where the hell did that guy go? The stairs are broken. Uh, it seems like we can... Oh, I can't swing my weapon. I run really slow. It's 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 hard to hard to navigate sometimes. Where do I go? Can I can I jump up the stairs? No. Tiny's gone. I don't see anywhere else to go to like go get keys and stuff. Interesting. <laughs> it's weird. You have to press up and then down when it switches. And both games with preset angles. Kaine? Kaine, where'd you go? Do I try to leave? Oh, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Because we've searched everywhere else. Yeah. That makes more sense to go try the front door. We're going to be locked in. It's locked. It's locked. Great. Uh, 
Who's she been writing letters to? That's what I want to know. Okay. Well, guess we're going back this way. Who the hell just talked? Excuse me? I heard a voice. Keyhole marked dark. Oh, it's got to be the door. What's this? The picture has changed. It sure has. Can I punch it? Can I shoot it? You kind of look more undead. I could never see that picture, so... It's this one, isn't it? Oh. Oh, everyone's petrified. Oh, it looks like it's in pain. It's kind of scary. Y yes, come now. Brave faces. Uh, onward and upward, eh? Hmm. Y yes. You gonna say that about everything? Okay, Vicey. You're scared. I think I know what's going on now, though. Hidden items. How is... There's no way we just got this tutorial. No way. Oh, dark execution. I'm... I'm gonna see this. This is, this is great. This is high quality. Some required items may be hidden in the field. Search for sparkling spots. They break wooden boxes. That seems like a maybe beginning of the game thing? Uh, not... Maybe I'm still in the beginning of the game. I don't know. I feel like I should have got it right away. First five seconds. Moon key. I guess it's the first required hidden item like that. That I was supposed to get maybe. I think I know what happened to these people. If it's anything like Medusa's gaze kind of thing. I just don't know exactly what's going Shades. on. What foul ah. hole did they crawl Can from? I Are you serious? I can't evade? Why can't I evade in here? Well, that's just gonna make battles more difficult for no reason. <laughs> Okay, well, it's fine. We got this. There we go. Oh, can I- are you even gonna get to- there we go. My hate he has. I didn't drop rate 6%. Oh, okay. Well, it's just a direct- hold on, this is another one. Oh, stop clock. It said item drop rate 6%, but... Is that a different one? Okay. One of you, I put it on. I put it on faith. Ma here, so it's just an upgrade to that. Yeah, yeah. I thought maybe I could have two. And it only uh, goes on these. So if I, Phantasm already has it, I'm just gonna upgrade them because uh, no point in having the the lesser one. Okay. This is the moon one, right? Yeah, the other one's darkness. Uh, there's a dot on the map over there. Star key, huh? I'm gonna have to end here in a minute. If we get too far into this, then... Oh god. But not that it matters, though. Uh, cause the- Oh, God! Uh, oh. Oh, no. Gross. Rainbow- Rainbow Spider Silk. Uh, the next episode will already be up when this one's going, I think. So. Maybe I'm just gonna split it here. <laughs>
Someone's playing piano in there. Yeah, I can't find a good spot to split it. But, uh, yeah, we don't want to go too over, so. I'm going to split this one here. The next one's already up if you want to watch it, so. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you like it, and I'll see you in that next one.